one, two, three, four. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Everybody. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Rock. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. I don't care about this. Chester, introduce us, dude. What? Introduce us. I don't want. I don't want to do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. You don't you guys. do it. You don't do it any days. I did it. I did it yesterday. I gotta go. He always just like books on us. Yeah, he's uh, getting better though. I mean, he. How? He does it. Well, he does it. Sometimes. Sometimes. He's supposed to do it every day. Well, some things are tough to do every day. Some things are very easy to do every day, like making love. Yeah, like uh, taking interviews. <laughs> Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Today we have a really cool interview. Yeah, we're going to be talking to Dr. Arm, Shoulder, Shoes and Shorts, and he's a famous German uh, philosopher. Yeah, this... What, what are those? I don't know, what is that? Um, hey babes, this is Dirk Steiner upstairs. Sorry for cutting in, but I have to have a word with you. First of all, Shoes and Shorts was not approved by us. Well, I just thought it'd be cool... Um, uh, hey, cool could... hey, 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 cool does not appeal to our demographic. We need edgy. Well, what if we beat him up? Listen, guys, we're still not even convinced that you should be on the air. So we're going to make a few minor changes to improve your marketability. Oh, man. First off, our test audience said they'd like the show a little bit more if Syphil had a beard. What? Whoa, nice beard, dude. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, and for you, Ollie, 13-year-old girls between the heights of 5'4 and 5'6 whose parents work at MTV said they'd like Ollie more if you looked like a member of Hanson. Oh, dude, I hate oh, Hanson, man. man. This sucks. Look at you. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. Our test audience said they'd like the show more if you guys were just better looking in general. Well, what? Oh, man, what are you doing to us? Oh, look at that. The graph just went up, guys. Who knows, TV baby? I do, I do. And look, man, this is our show. Yeah. Oh, it's still your show, guys. You're just edgy now. Okay. Oh, man. Well, our test audience said that they'd like you better if you were a burning seal. What? You, you can't do this to me. <laughs> yeah, we can. And you know what else they said? They said they'd like you better if you were two burning seals. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I own you, yeah, boys. Yeah, we can. See, dude, our yeah. graphs are going up. Our graph just went through the roofs, dude. Why, you little, I uh, own you guys. Dude, you still, you're still in charge. You're just edgy now. Hey, uh, later, dude. <sighs> Feel better? I'm still a plastic dude. Hello, TV watchers, and welcome to Call from the Public. Now we're going to take calls, so call in. Caller, go ahead. This is your landlord. Yeah, what do you want? You know damn well what I want. I want those freaking monkeys off of my property. They're not, yeah, they're not ours. What do you mean they're not yours? We don't... There's three feet of monkey down there. No, there there's, isn't. There, there's not. We trained them to use the toilets. Yeah. I don't, I don't want no freaking monkeys using my toilets. Yeah, well, you everything's covered, so, yeah. uh, anyways. You guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Wait. Caller, go ahead. Yeah, caller? Yeah, I have a question about my sexuality. Okay, what is it? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, am I a dinner fork or a salad fork? I don't know. I don't even really know the difference myself. I mean, you... Yeah, that makes two of us. I mean, what should I do? How do I... How will I know? I, I would just lay there and wait to see what people use you for, really. Oh, that is so kinky. You're a pervert. You got it. Okay, I think we better take another call. Um, <laughs> what? fashion designer moonlights as a frontman for a popular heavy metal band. Think about it, folks. Find out in just a minute. Today, Today we're, we're going to sing a song about, about dudes and dogs. dogs. 
<laughs> no, no, we're gonna sing a song about and cars cats. and trucks. No, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna I sing a song, song about, about cats and beats. dudes. No, let's no, sing about monkeys. Okay, that's okay. Right. <laughs> monkeys. Right, we'll so sing about monkeys, <laughs> dogs and cats, and dudes and chicks. Chicks and dudes and trucks Car and cars. All right, ready? In ten speeds. In ten speeds. Okay, ready? No, I'm not ready at all for this. This song's for all the trucks and the cars in the universe, in the universe, in the universe. And this song's for all the trucks and the cars in the universe, in the universe, USA. And this song's for little boys with plastic blue jackets on 10 speeds. And this song's for all the dogs and the cats in the universe, in the universe, in the universe. And this song's for all the dogs and the cats in the universe, in the universe, USA. And I sing this song for evil gray monkeys that haunt me. And this song's for all the chicks and the dudes in the universe, in the universe, in the universe. And this song's for all the chicks and the dudes in the universe, in the universe, USA. And this song's for going out but coming home in someone else's undies. The answer, of course, Tommy Hilfiger. He's actually James Hetfield of Metallica. No, he isn't. I know. I don't. I don't think it's a it's true. mouse. No, it's true. I saw it in London. It's true. Inside, if you you if you take a pigeon mm -hmm. under the back wings. Yeah. There's a lever which opens it up, and then on the inside, it's you'll you hollowed out. There's a little chair in there. You're there's, you're totally serious. I'm totally serious. There's little pedals, little there's um and like the way that they has to has to pedal it inside, and that's what makes the neck go like that uh, when they're going across dude, the ground. And there's a pecking mechanism, and the maybe mice it's are like that in London. The mice are using these to get all the garbage off the street, and they're eating it. So and they're building little underground cities. In London. Yeah. Inside of every pigeon, there's a mouse. It's true. We better go to Precious Fry. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network. Hey, I'm Syphil. The miracle of life, folks, is a sweet thing. But how embarrassing is it when you suddenly wake up and you have a baby out of the blue? If you're like me, you want to know if you're pregnant on a daily basis. And we need to wake up and realize that these pregnancy tests on the market that they're trying to sell us, they're not cutting the mustard these days. Dude, you need to relax a little bit. Now, folks, let me introduce you to the Precious Roy Pregnancy Test. This simple device has been scientifically tested. You put the cord around your waist. When you feel the cord start tightening, folks, you're growing something inside of your body. Now, I want some calls now. Okay. First caller. Yeah, uh, I peed on this rope, and uh, it didn't change any colors. Folks, when are you going to f***ing get it through your head? I'm not playing games here. Hey, cut it. Out with the melodramatic. Melodramatic, Mr. Melodramatic, you're Just, pregnant, okay? No, we're taking I'm not a, pregnant. We're taking another call. No, no, we're gonna talk about this. Another call, caller, go, go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a 43 year old virgin male, and I got one of these things to put it on, and it's getting tighter. Am I getting pregnant? You are pregnant. You are the first pregnant male virgin, folks. It's working miracles. That is impressive. This man just called. He's been trying to have a baby for years, he said. I'm going crazy about this. He didn't say that. He did, and I heard him, and now we're going to talk to Precious Roy. Precious. This is Precious Roy. They call me Aunt Julie at the home. Aunt Julie, tell me about this pregnancy test. Buy my garlic pasta, suckers. Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Sipple. I'm your anchor for the night. This is my partner, Al... 
Tonight in the news, it seems that you the hear my thoughts. I have made this helmet to transmit my thoughts to all women of the world. I am seeking a woman age 18 to 80 for fun and relationships. Must look like Serena Also, I am rich, smart, cool, blonde hair, chiseled jaw, and superb in bed. I enjoy slam dancing and slam romancing. That dumb helmet. Turn, take that thing off. I will pay money, no transvestites, please, unless you look like Serena also can't keep concentrating. And that's all the news for tonight, and thank you, and have a pleasant, pleasant tomorrow. Good night, Serena. Dude, get that helmet, just get out. Aloha. Hey everybody, welcome to the calls from the public. It's time to answer some phone calls from our viewers. So yell into your phones and you should get through. You want to take the first call? Mm -hmm. 